I'm going to be quickly showing you how to charge your non-Tesla EV at a Tesla supercharging station and share a few other things you'll want to keep in mind. First of all, you'll need an adapter and I'm using the Vortex plug by Electron. I'll link it in the description down below. It's typically about $200 and they sent it to me so I could test it out. Keep in mind if you want to charge it like a hotel that doesn't have a supercharger but like a destination charger, you'll need a different adapter as this won't work with that. I have made a video about a level 2 adapter in the past so you can check that out if you want. If you know that your vehicle is compatible with the Tesla supercharger network and most manufacturers will advertise if it is, you should either manually set battery conditioning or navigate to the supercharger using the built-in navigation system in the car so the car will automatically enable battery conditioning which will heat up your battery and make it quicker to charge. Once you've arrived at the station, open up the Tesla app, select the station that you're at, and then you're gonna have to scroll and use the port number that's on the stall and select that in the Tesla app. And then you'll take your adapter and then plug it directly into the car first. Once the adapter is securely and clicked into the car, that's when you can bring the charging cable over and plug it in. Assuming that the charging cable reaches and you parked close enough, which I didn't in this case, so I did move forward a bit and then it did work. Take note that I'm actually in the quote unquote wrong parking spot for this charging stall. A Tesla would charge park one slot to the left, and so I'm technically taking up two spaces here, but it wasn't a busy day, so this was okay. Just be mindful that you might be blocking other cars and taking up extra space and try to avoid it if you can. Both your car and your app will show you information about your charging session, but the fees will be on the Tesla app. When I was filming this video, I actually happened to run into this issue where it said turn off climate control features to charge faster. It was 109 degrees out, so I was not going to turn off my climate controls. Different manufacturers will need to specifically tune their software so they can better use the Tesla supercharger network, and it looks like Chevy is still working on that software. So after 20 minutes, I only was able to get like 20% of the battery back and I did end up just stopping the charge and going back home. When I clicked on the button on the Tesla charger handle, it showed in my app that the charging was stopped and I was ready to go. To remove the charging adapter from your car, you click on the top lever, and to remove the Tesla handle from the adapter, you press on this bottom lever. I was filming with one hand, so I'm sorry I couldn't show that. So after all that, I charged about 20% in 20 minutes, uh, which wasn't great, and so I think I would have a much better time at like an Electrify America or an EVgo charging station. I know those are less reliable. At least in the Chevy Equinox, the charging curve on a Tesla supercharger is pretty slow. I hear that the manufacturers have to go and like do a software update to address and better manage the charging curve for Tesla superchargers. So we'll see if that comes out eventually. But it's actually kind of unfortunate that the charging was a bit slow because the supercharger worked great, the adapter worked great, and the Chevy Equinox is a good car and I, it's capable of charging up to 150 kilowatts, but that charging curve was really, really bad. Hopefully that gets worked on. I still think that having a Tesla supercharger adapter is a good idea even if you have a slower charging car like the Chevy Equinox, just because if you are planning on doing any road trips, it may be the case that the Tesla Supercharger Network is the only one that you have access to in that moment, and it's always good to be prepared. Hope you like this video, and thanks for watching.